I'm about it. Too enthusiastic. Like, Thumbs up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I um, love it. Wow. wow. <laughs> Could we say wow more? <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Hi everybody, uh, we are the K-Core Girls. If you don't know who we are, we have lots of new subscribers, so there are a, new, a lot of new people here. So we'll go ahead and introduce ourselves. I'm Mer. I'm Free. And today we are reacting to another suggestion. Um, we are reacting to Purple Kiss Ponzona. I think I'm saying it right. If I'm not, <laughs> don't come for me. <laughs> Fingers crossed we're saying it right. <laughs> right? <laughs> Neither of us have heard it. Have you even heard of Purple Kiss before? No, until the first time I heard of Purple Kiss was in the suggestion. But as you know, last night I was looking at mashups. Mm -hmm. um, and I saw that they were included in a K-pop mashup. And I was dying to click on it, but I was like, I'm going to wait because we're doing right. this tomorrow anyways. So, right. Yeah. Must behave myself. <laughs> Must behave. Yes. But I'm excited to, to check out a group I've never heard of before. I'm not going to lie and say like, you know, before I got into K-pop, I'm not going to say I was closed minded, but I don't think I was as open to checking out new music or new groups or, or new artists. Um, and since I've fallen in love with K-pop, um, you know, having someone go, hey, here's a group you've never heard of before, I'm more likely to be like, okay, yeah, sure, let's let's do it. Let's check it right. out. Yeah, especially when, because I think this one was recommended on our Everglow one, I think. Yeah. I think this one and was on so, the Everglow. Yeah, especially when they're like, okay, if you like Everglow, then you'll like this one. Because um, for me, it's hard for me to find girl groups that I like but honestly it's growing I mean there's been several there's been Everglow and Pixie lately and some others that I can't even think of but I, I'm like wow these are actually really good I really enjoy them so mm -hmm. oh yeah definitely um so yeah I'm I'm ready to dive into this one I love their name Purple Kiss Heck yeah, yeah I like that too. one yeah <laughs> But before we do that, you know, if you all enjoy watching these videos with us and hanging out with us, please hit the like button, share, comment, subscribe, and mer, hit that bell. Hit the bell. Yes. And reach out to us on Instagram and Twitter. Um, and yeah, let's go ahead and dive into Purple Kiss P P Panzana. See, I can't, I can't do it either. If we're saying it wrong, <laughs> please someone break down the the pronunciation in the comments. Yeah. That Phonetically would be so spell helpful. it out for us, right? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so helpful. Purple and it's Purple kiss. I'm I already like the vibe. Their styles are nice. Your voice is 
Yes, the breakdown. Here we go. I love it. I was waiting for it. I do too. Well, wow. I'm for it. <laughs> I'm about it. Enthusiasm. Like thumbs up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I loved um, it. Wow. wow. <laughs> Could we say wow more? <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> um. God, it's the end, and I'm gonna say this real quick. This is one thing. That, that can be so frustrating is you come across a group that blew it out of the water and this is my first time hearing about them which to me immediately makes me go okay well why haven't I heard of them before you know because mm -hmm. I don't think they're new I don't know I don't know when they debut I'll try and google it real quick while we talk but um but I mean, like, you know, I feel like that was really, really, really good. And once again, and, and this could go back to the whole girl group, boy group thing. Um, I'm going to sit here and say that the, maybe, maybe these, this group, maybe Purple Kiss is, you know, uh, underrated a little bit. Or, or, yeah. or, or, you know, they don't get the kind of deten uh, detention. <clears throat> detention, everyone. No. <laughs> uh, <laughs> attention. <laughs> attention that they deserve. That was freaking awesome. Yeah. I mean, Thank I had... you for the suggestion, because that yeah. was awesome. It'll be going on our playlist. <laughs> because it had everything that we basically like. It had, like... Because we... I, I've noticed with songs, especially, that we really like, they usually have, like, a softer melody. And then usually they have, like, a sick rap beat mixed in there. And then... Usually they have like some hardcore singing too. You know what I mean? Like more like rock-ish type. Like some hardcore, not always, not all the songs. Don't get me wrong. But, you know, <laughs> it has those three elements. Those are some of our favorite ones. Especially mine. Yeah, for sure. I love, I love, I love, I love when they have that, like you said, that sick rap line. When that happened, I was like, yes! Score! Right, like that was awesome. Um, and that that dance break towards the end was just an added I bonus. Know. Not all groups have, or not all songs have that. I don't, I'm not gonna say all groups because I think all groups have done it at least once. But not all songs have a dance break like that. And I love when they have the dance breaks like that. Yeah, and it was a nice. It was 
Sick. It was nice. And I'm going to go out on a limb and say that the girl with the short blonde bob, I'm going to say lead dancer. I'm, oh. I'm placing mm -hmm. my bets because... They had her a lot dancing in the water, and then for that dance break, she was front and center. So I'm placing yeah. Betsy Dancer right there. Um, seven member girl group under RBW Entertainment. They released a pre debut single on November 26, 2020, and a second one on February 3rd, 2021. They debuted in March 2021. So they're oh, new, so they're new, new. Too. They're super actually super new. They're newer than Pixie. Yes. Super Pixie new. debuted in February. This was their debut song. This was their debut song. Oh, wow. They debuted on a, an awesome one. Mm, I got a cat that's just going to cause <laughs> some problems here in a minute. What is up? I feel like these new girl groups are like coming out with a vengeance. They're like, we will be known. They come out with these bangers. Like, oh my gosh, and you don't you don't ever expect that from a debut song, not from a girl group. Yeah, and here's the other thing that I really like, and I think that's why more girl groups I'm starting to like, is um, I think some of the older groups were more, I don't, I don't even know. And I'm not trying to diss them, but more sweet. Is that, I don't, is that how you would put it? Sweet, um, cutesy, and it's cutesy. that's not a bad thing because I like a lot of those songs too. Um, I just I like them. I do. I really do. I mean, you can check out my playlist. I have plenty of cutesy uh, pop girl songs on there. Um, but for a debut, I feel like the biggest thing about debuting, especially in a group or not a group, in, in an industry that's as hard to get into as the music industry, especially the K-pop industry. I mean, I know we got groups popping out left and right, but how many do you know that actually stick around for a long period of time? Not many. Many right. of them end up disbanding or, or, you know, whatever the case may be. So when you debut, I feel like you need to do something that's memorable. That's, that's you know, banging the gates down as you come out, you know? Yeah. Um, sometimes cutesy songs don't always do that. They're nice. They're fun to listen to. I enjoy them. But I don't know if those would be considered bangers, you know? Yeah. And I was semi-right. So there's the girl with the purple hair is lead dancer and main vocalist. But the girl with the blonde bob is main dancer. Oh, okay. So, yeah. I won my bets. I won zero <laughs> money. Zero monies. Um, but, yeah, that was awesome. Yeah, I and liked I them. Yes. And I want to say, too, I feel like their sound also kind of marries old generation sound with the newer generation sound. Because in, in some of those... Um, verses and in some of those in, in parts of the chorus i've got like this older k-pop vibe from them I, it's hard for me to place my finger on it but it reminds me of an older i want to say like second gen girl group couldn't even oh, okay. be a boy group i don't know um but i can't place my finger on it but then it also has like i said the rap and the heavy beat and and i just the combination worked really well it did. They did awesome. So, yeah. I'm excited to hear more from them, too. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Because um, I don't even know. I mean, they probably have more by now. We're going to have to do our research and look out and then see if we can find more from them. And um, see, you know, about reacting to more of them. So. You know, if this is their debut song, that makes sense. Because they kept saying their name in the song which i noticed with girl groups drop their names quite a bit like more so than guys do actually i know i can't really think of a guy group song that says their names that many times Other than, like, yes, maybe... like bulletproof obviously they're saying bulletproof a lot but they're not saying the the actual i mean bulletproof boys is their name in english well, Bulletproof but... Boy Scouts. Okay. Yeah. 
Um, but they're not saying that. They're just saying we are bulletproof. Yeah. I'm sure they've said BTS at least once in one song. Yeah, um, and I think Monster X has said it maybe at least once, but you don't hear it as much in the guy group. I, I've heard it a couple times in Stray Kids. Okay. Yeah. But I, I swear girl groups drop their names way more often than... You can't watch a Blackpink video without them starting out with Blackpink Black in your area. <laughs> you know? So, and and it's every not... video. And I don't have a problem with it. I just... No. Drop their name more often than guy groups do. It's just different. It is. It is. But that's also because... and. I, I noticed some people have, or at least one person has pointed this out, out in the comments. You no know, guy groups get more attention. They, they do. do. It's true. And I'm not even gonna be mad at it because I love my I love my boy groups. You know me, I love my boy groups. Yeah, um, I'm, yeah, I, I like too. boy groups more too. But when it's situations like this where we haven't, we have never heard the name, which I guess granted they're new, but we've mm -hmm. never heard the name Purple Kiss. And I don't know how long we would have gone, you know, if it wasn't for the suggestion, how long we would have gone without hearing Purple Grit Kiss. I mean, would it have been pushed to us? And so, you know, that's when it kind of mm -hmm. irritates me. <laughs> yeah. Like, we would like them. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's, that's true. But, yeah, that was freaking sick. <laughs> Um, definitely want to listen to more of them. If we find another video of theirs that we react to, I will do my research ahead of time and look into some of these members. Um, yeah, be more prepared. I don't like researching a group I've never heard of before watching them. Yeah. I'd rather watch them first and then research later. Exactly, because that's really how we kind of do it with some of our... Because, um, like BTS, we knew them really well before we reacted to Butter. You know, Monster X, we knew them really well before we uh, reacted to theirs and um, like Kiss and Death or Death. Gambler, you know, and, and, yeah. Yeah, and say, same with Stray Kids, and we know those groups. Mm -hmm. So, um, when we don't. I mean, know even Blackpink, but we don't have a new video from them, so. Yeah. We might have to throw one of theirs What's in the <laughs> Right? <laughs> Where's our new videos? <laughs> <laughs> well, I but, think actually Lisa's gonna be having her own, um, her, she's gonna be having a solo soon. Oh, so, cool. That'll be cool. Yeah. But, but, um, yeah, when we don't know a group at all, it, it's really fun to react to them 100% blind. Yes. Yes. I, I second that for sure. Um, but yeah, I liked it. I enjoyed it. Mer liked it. She enjoyed it. Great suggestion, like I said, two enthusiastic thumbs up. Keep um, them coming. Yes, please. And uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and let y'all go because <clears throat> we're trying to uh, be more prepared lately and uh, kind of multi record here so we can get some videos out on a more regular basis um, rather than just like once a week. Right. Um, so yeah, we're gonna oh. go ahead and do that. And you guys. Hey, you know something about Purple Kiss? Drop it in the comments. You know another girl group or boy group or whoever? Drop them in the comments. Yep. And we will see you all. I think our next one will be a throw our first ever Throwback Thursday. Right. I'm excited. Me too. We will be dressed exactly the same. <laughs> yep. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so we'll see y'all then. All right. Yeah!